Yeah, back in Matthew's four and verse. Verse 8, and again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding, exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of a world and the glory of them. It was Satan. Yeah. Showed the Lord the empires, the societies. Yeah. From one generation, from a different generation, from different timelines. And offered them, well, show them the glory of it, the beauty of it. You know, tempting the Lord and saying, Look, this could be yours, man. Yeah? It's like what Esau, the so called white man, which is the devil. Yeah? What does he do to Jake, man? And Jake goes full for it. Because Jake of uh, being oppressed, you know. Esau's on top, the so-called white people on top, just like these other nations. And Jake, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, we've been suffering for so long, poor for so long, you know, living dysfunctional for so long, broke. And a lot of us, a lot of our people are desperate to get that dollar, man. Desperate for that money, that Elizabeth, those pounds, those notes, yeah, which is fake money. Not backed by anything, it's just a credit system made from thin air. Holds no weight, really. Yeah, but nevertheless, Israel are fighting for that, man. Fighting for crumbs at work. You know, trying to get a career to be a part of Hollywood, to be a part of the media, to be part of America, the system. And what does Esau, the so-called white man, offer them? He says, look, man. See, you can have all these women you want, man. You can have all these women you want. Look, man, just sign this sign this contract. Hey, a million dollar deal. Two million, ten million dollar deal. A hundred million dollar deal. Whatever amount it is. Just sign it, man. Just sign it, man. And the money is yours. Right? We're going to do business together. Look, I'm showing you all these women. I'm showing you all these. Look, man. I'm showing you the lifestyle you could be living. You can just have this house. You know? We, we can even treat you, man. We can do your makeup for you. Oh. We can deliver food for your house. We can get you that nice car you always wanted. And look, you don't have to get one car. You know? You can get 10, you can get 15, 20, 30, 100, whatever the case is, we got you covered, man. Yeah. Everybody's going to have their eyes on you, man. Now you're seeing that, you know, the dollar sign is in your eyes, like them cartoons. You're thinking to yourself with a bottle of wine, you know, or champagne. In a, in a swimming pool full of women and money uh, money just flattering in the air in the ceiling because you're making it rain and shit and you're thinking yeah that's the life man that's the life but not only that after you sign that contract your soul is his he tells you what to do he tells you when to wake up Tells you when to perform. You have no rest. Not only that, you gotta sacrifice some things. You gotta sacrifice your your woman. You gotta sacrifice family members, friends. And not just a sacrifice of leaving them behind. It's like getting them killed, man. Yeah. Getting them killed.
and costing your own life too. Because he saw the soccer worm, he does them, them blood contracts, man. Like these entertainers, man, they start doing weird and demonic shit, pushing demonic vibrations. In their music videos, man, doing these demonic signs, channeling demonic energy. Yeah? All of that, man. Yeah, v verse 8 again. Again, the devil take him up into an exceedingly high mountain and show of him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and say unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Fall down, bow down, worship me, do what I say. Call me God. Treat me like God. And I'm, I'm going to bless you. And Esau, Esau the so-called white man, the devil can bless you. But his blessing is temporal. And his blessing is actually a curse. His blessing is actually unrighteousness. Because you got to do a lot of wickedness to keep up in his society. You think these entertainers that live here? Yeah? You think they're upstanding people? Yeah, they, they might give to charity... Uh, here and there but it's all bullshit it's all about image that they portray it's not sincerity because how do you know because they're not uplifting the law statutes and commandments of society they're not saying that there's anything wrong with homosexuality or the lgbt community they're not saying there's anything wrong with the woman being above men they're not saying anything wrong Against the so-called white men, man. And if they do, they get shut down. Showing you that we're in a, 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 a we're in slavery again. So, or st still in slavery, should I say. This is his system. The so-called white man's system. This is his world. He's ruling it. Job 9.24 The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. And he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. What other temptations is there? There's a man in this truth. Well, man, you like to fuck? Well, sexual creatures? But there's boundaries according to the scriptures, such as thou shalt not commit adultery. Now a woman could be tempting you, flirting with you, touching you in the places to make you horny, speaking to you in a manner that you like to be speak, spoke, um, spoken by. Getting you aroused. But guess what? You know she has a man. You can't deal with that. You have to avoid, you have to flee fornication. And those demons, which are upon her, they're going to try and creep on you to entice you to do wickedness. And if you commit it, you will get judged eventually. Whatever judgment the Lord has installed, the Lord might make it where the, the next woman you get, or the woman that you, you committed adultery with, she commits adultery on you. And you get emotionally, spiritually scarred. And, you know, a lot of people have come out of the truth just by a woman alone. So be careful. can even be by stealing yeah you stole something that was precious to someone you thought you can get away with it with days and weeks and months and years to come past next thing you know you're in a financial difficulty um, Difficult situation where you need money or you need something. 
that karma, that judgment. Yeah, I'm back in Matthews. So you tell them to worship me, Satan, and you, and even in this in the entertainment industry, they're sucking dick, man. They're getting bent over, legs spread. To keep their contract, to keep their, their wealth. Which is just crumbs, man. You ain't get money like the Rothschild, you know. The, the elites that rule the world. With hundreds of trillions. Own the flipping earth, literally, man. Own continents and countries. <laughs> the ones that are really behind the industries. It's all vain. It's all temporal. At the end, it's going to cost your life. And you're going to be destroyed by the Lord. Ask yourself, what would you rather be? Destroyed by Satan? By doing right, righteousness, righteousness by the Lord? For the, for the, for the sake of the name of Yahweh Bashim Yashai? Yeah? Or be destroyed by the Lord because you did wicked wickedness for the sake of Satan. Think about that. Which death is more honorable? And what blessing and reward after it is more worthy? The Lord's man. Listen to what the Lord said, verse ten, Matthew four ten. Then Yah then saith Yahusha unto him. Get thee hence, Satan. Yeah? Fuck off, man. Get behind me. Move on, man. Bog off, man. You ain't shit, Satan. Yeah? For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. You see? But Satan wants you to serve him. You can't do that. That's off. Then the devil leaveth him. Remember what we read in James? Resist the devil and he will flee. So how did the Lord Yahweh resist the devil? By speaking the word. By always saying it is written. See, not just see, it's one thing just quoting scriptures and knowing the precepts, but it's believing the scriptures, believing the precepts, and acting on the precepts. You know, doing what the precept says. You gotta live this word, man. Live these scriptures. Then the devil leaveth him. In other words, he fleed. And behold, angels came and ministers unto him. So, so, see, so the angels came, uh, blessed him, probably fed him as well. You know? So he, the Lord got his reward at the end of it anyway. Instead of doing it um, Satan's way. Like I made the analogy of the Sabbath, Satan trying to tempt you to cook, you know, kindle that fire. You go and draw, remember the word, you know. And before you know it, as you're staying in the spirit, it's the next day evening where you can eat and spark up a fire. This is the sun's gone down, you know, the Sabbath's finished and you can do what you need to do, you know. Yeah, we fall off sometimes, but you get back up. You don't give up. Your mind should be, I want to do what the Lord says. I want to do my best to do what the Lord says. I want to get better at this. Yeah? So yeah, man. So with that, this is temptations and demons. Hope you've been edified. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom.